Welcome to episode five of the B-League. Jules, what a game it was oh. last night. The big blue Sydney FC against Melbourne victory and everyone left the stadium and everyone who was watching on TV turned off their TVs thinking about one man, Andy Harper. Wasn't he in some form last night? The commentary was next level. It was sublime. Well, Andy Harper has been good enough to team up with us because he's always said, you know what, guys, I love doing the commentary, but it's just only about audio. Mm. What about if the things that I said, the pearls of wisdom that I unleash were also visual? That is why we present this. Hi, I'm Andy Harper, and this is my commentary in interpretive dance. It's one of the pitbull wizard types. It's a falcon. What's doing here? All over Del Piero like a bad hairpiece. Pass the senor. I feel like I'm in a 3D cinema and taking the glasses off. Pass the senor. It's just a blur. Pass the senor. Pass the senor. I mean, let's get rid of defending. It's much more fun. Pass the senor. There's at least another half dozen goals in this. Doing here? Coaching is like being in Bizarro world. What's doing here? Look at the clock. Where's it gone? Andy Harper, we <laughs> salute you. Finally, Andy Harper's pearls of wisdom are visual, and this is true. We're not making this up. Those unitards that we were wearing, yes, they're unitards, yeah. cost $170. Yes. Have you got the receipt there, Yeah, Bill? I'm just holding it up so the head of Fox Sports can see. Uh, $170 we spent on black unitards. So we'd like to ask this question, and this is genuinely the question we'd like to ask. At the B-League on Twitter or uh, B-League Fox Sports on Facebook, was that piece of television <laughs> worth $170? Be honest. We did apply for a, uh, an arts grant, a sports <laughs> arts grant, to interpretive dance yeah. Andy Harper's commentary. We got knocked back, That's surprisingly. Right. Disappointing. So we'll throw it over to you. Let's talk Melbourne Heart, yeah. Sam. That they haven't been travelling as well as they could. Uh, not only on the field, but also in the back rooms. Just have a look at this. OK, so this is behind the scenes. Oh, that is disappointing. Um, yeah. It didn't stop there, though, no. Jules, because this is only about 10 minutes later. Let's see what else happened at the change rooms at Melbourne Heart. Yep, just going for a casual stroll through there. And once again, yeah, it's, a, it's another again. issue with the Believe sign. Obviously, there are major issues at Melbourne Heart, Sam, uh, and we want to address them right now on the B-League. Well, I can tell you what the major issue is. They're using cheap children's blue tack. They spent mm. all their money on Harry Kuehl. They can't afford the industrial strength blue tack. So we need to start this appeal, Jules. Have a look. We want you to get all the blue tack from your office space. Just rip down pictures of your wife, your husband, your kids, roll them in the little balls, package them, send them off to Melbourne Heart. Maybe you'll see John Aloisi on the street, stick them to the back of his pants. Absolutely. Let's stick together. Let's help Melbourne Heart. Let's get behind them. And speaking of Melbourne Heart, one of their players is involved in this week's Juggle Off. It is our eighth most popular segment. It went down a notch. Let's check it out. OK, Massimo Madoka, your challenge is the Melbourne Cup Challenge. Now, while juggling, you've got to pick up this horse and ride it, Massey. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one, juggle, juggle off. off. Massimo Madoka oh, is out of the block. Get on your mouth. Got David Gallup is a huge fan of the races. Oh, he's oh, done it! That, that, that is on. impressive. Now he's got to ride the horse. Now you've got to ride it. Come on, come on. Oh, he's been, oh. he's been Jamie back Rogers by Andrew would give you great odds on that. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to give it a bit of Gangnam Style. More outdated come references. On. You've got to give it a bit of Gangnam Style. He's not going to stop. There we go. Solid effort, Massimo Madoka. Bravo. And with that, he moves to the top of the leaderboard. Well done, Mars. Jules, that was your idea. Great one, yeah. yeah. Probably your finest work. Certainly better than the Unitard idea. But I, I did want to ask, out of all the players, all the clubs in the league, you mm. could have picked anyone, why did you pick Mars to be in a jockey uniform? Loves horses. Black Beauty's his favourite film. OK, fair enough. And he begged me to do it. He said, cool. put me in a uh, bad jockey outfit, give me a child's, a child's horse on I'm a convinced. stick. convinced. Put me on television. Let's put me in high on. definition. Let's talk about the Golden Cornthwaite. We're almost out of time. <laughs> yes, the Golden Cornthwaite Award is an award we give out for online excellence and we've got two runners up again this week Sam so much good content let's have a look at number three yeah well done to Saint Soccer of Australia he said why was KGJ the fourth official last night that's like getting Ron Jeremy to hold the boom mic in a porno I don't quite get the reference that Ron I understand Jeremy. that yeah, did he not familiar. play for Gold Coast United I think he did yeah. yeah he played six games for them let's have a look at the actual runner up this is a Facebook message we got from Darren Nicholas frankly Heskey I don't give a damn <laughs> with Nigel Bogart in the lead role very impressive well done guys but there can only be one winner and this week the winner of the Golden Cornthway it is, tying back into Andy Harper from earlier in the episode, Callum Muir, he's actually made it come true, 3D cinema without the glasses, and here's your personalised message from Robbie Cornthwaite. 
Hi guys, I'm Robbie Corthwaite and I'd like to present this week's Golden Corthwaite 2. Callum Muir. All because you made, made the 3D, 3D cinema, cinema pick. Congratulations, champ. There it is. That's coming your way. Congratulations. Keep them coming through at the B-League and the B-League Fox Sports on Facebook. If uh, the unitards earlier, Sam, weren't hot enough, try this on for size. Flores flavour. Flores flavour. Flores flavour. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco Flores flavour. Flores flavour. Flores flavour. With that Argentinian flavour spelt F-L-A-V-A, he mm. really can make even Lady Gaga sensual and beautiful and quite romantic, Jules. Yeah, it has a different effect on everyone, Sam. Uh, let's cross to some live vision of Shane Smeltz, who's just seen that. He's really <laughs> having to calm things down there. I find it weird that he's still there and it's live so many hours <laughs> after the game, Jules. Well, that's, that's the effect. <laughs> okay, right. He hasn't, been, that able is to, he hasn't been able to stand up for that long. <laughs> On that note, it is good night from us. Good night, B-Leaguers. And good night, Ross Aloisi. The song for the B-League. They always say.